by having access to this to this treasure trove that is Tony Booth's artwork. We we basically didn't really have to do much. All we did is we amplified what already was some of the most some of the most handcrafted and most incredible graphic design and illustrative poster work. It is the anniversary, 100 years since the tower got dismantled, 50 years since the ballroom got burned down. This would be forgotten. Mm. New generations would forget this. They didn't even realise we had a tower mm. and it was the tallest in the whole of the country. And what we've done here is try and bring that back to life so people will remember that we did have a tallest tower in the country, the yeah. Rolling Stones, the Beatles, mm, yeah. the Who, everyone we played it. We keep pulling it. it back to the youngsters here, but then again it is so vital that, that, that genuinely they wouldn't know, know this legacy, they wouldn't know this history that is at their doorstep. Right, okay, well now it is time to introduce June, June Booth, and uh, it was her husband, Tony Booth, that designed all of the posters that are the basis of this mural. Are you ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And ladies and gentlemen, is that not sensational? Remembering the Beatles and the 27 equipments that they played at the Tower Ballroom and of course commemorating the Tower Ballroom as well. This is just the start of a load of new stuff we're going to do in New Brighton. A load more street art coming up. Uh, there's a difference between street art and vandalism and uh, everything we're doing is properly curated and if we want the community to come back together so we're painting lampposts. I'd like to thank the load of kids who have been helping us through the night uh, sanding down benches and painting things and clearing stuff up which makes a difference when we're normally like causing havoc around the place but there's not a lot for these uh, young people to do and what we're doing is creating jobs opportunities i'm going to put new brighton back on the map again i'd just like to also thank the guys who have come up from london and painted this along with a load of local artists 100 years since the tower burned out 1919 50 years since the ballroom burned down 1969 and um, we wanted to sort of capture the history of the ballroom um, and more importantly, the great work that Tony Booth did. His posters used to be all over the Mersey, hand-painted hand the original posters for every time the beat was performed here. So when people get an opportunity to get a bit closer, they can read the plaque. And I'd like to thank Felix, who I work alongside, an amazing artist. We want this to be signed off by the local, uh, you know, the next generation. So Ollie, Alfie, Josh, Michael, up here, they, they finished the last bit of this artwork, so they signed it off. We had a success to them and the next generation. Yeah, thank you very much. Someone, someone gave me that there, came today and said I wanted to give you this. Yeah. And it's them, her and her mother. Oh, the people on the ferry. And the they ferry. signed it. Look at them as well. Look at that. I mean, I mean so this, the, you, you do feel, you, you do feel this, 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 this authenticness, man. Just That's like, just like, like yeah. If you look at, and if you look at the impact and the kind of, and the feedback we've had, the entire area is just littered with stories. Everyone is just reminiscing. Everyone is reminiscing. All I see hearing is just like fond memories and just the most incredible anecdotes of like like first experiences. Also, first experiences of the Beatles, four lads that weren't known, just like local breeders who were just an, a, a footnote on the poster. It was it was several headliner acts and it would say the also featuring the Beatles. This is all authenticity and it's in this, this is this is the Merseyside I reckon. It's probably one. This thing I've written is called the Graphic Designer. Graphic Studios, fully time served, steady of hand, anatomically suited, accurate of eye, with assured brush strokes, a skill not denied in yellow, magenta, black and cyan. The Graphic Designer. Posters galore, Mersey Beat fans to the fore. The Silver Beatles who became the Beatles, Jerry and the Pacemakers, the Searchers, the Mersey Beats, the Big Three and the Undertakers, just to name a few. The Graphic Designer. Liverpool club venues proudly proclaim the Cavern, the Downbeat, the Iron Door, the Grafton, Blue Angels, Jacaranda, Maggie May and that's not all. 
the graphic designer. Winnell venues near the Mersey Shores, the Tower Ballroom, Fort Page Trot, New Brighton, the Grosvenor Wallasey, the Apollo Morton, YMCA Hoylake and many more with posters plastered on many a door. The graphic designer. Carefully displayed from shop windows, bus stations, even the Epstein's, then furniture and record stores. Railway stations with Binston recently uncovered. Club and cloakrooms, places not to be ignored. The graphic designer. With your immaculate steady hand, your one inch, one stroke brushes strokes, depicted every Mersey beat band. Star spangled international headliners. Nothing was ever too grand for the graphic designer. So thanks to you, Tony Booth, a respected family man, for my ballad of Alan Janine poster that I now hold so proudly in my hand. God bless you, wherever you may be. You are the ultimate graphic designer.